In order to allow the telescope's equatorial mount to be precisely pointed to the North Celestial Pole, I needed the ability to do fine adjustments in the altitude and azimuth. So I designed the Mount Altaz adjuster to be cut from heavy plate aluminum. I sent the design to the same CNC water jet company here in Orlando and soon had the unit assembled. Now we can actually proceed to mount the 18-inch telescope in its new home. Unfortunately, my height measurements were a little off, because when my good friend Rob Conway came over to install the scope and attempted to place the mount on top of the monolith, it quickly became apparent that the scope would impact the dome when it was moved. Rob jokingly told me that he's afraid that I flunked geometry. So he took the Altaz adjuster and pedestal home and cut over a foot off the pedestal tube. He brought it back a few nights later. I reattached the Altaz adjuster, added the right ascension housing of the telescope mount, and with great difficulty, we lifted the heavy assembly into place and screwed it down with the large bolts at the top of the monolith. Then we could proceed with attaching the declination housing and cradle. We added the heavy counterweights supported by a 2x6 board, attached the cradle, and then lifted the telescope tube itself into place. I removed the support board and gently swung the scope around to point to its northward home position. It was a sight to behold. The scope looked massive inside the dome and I had never viewed it from below like this. Needless to say, I was very, very happy to get this great milestone completed with the observatory. So now there would be a brief period of wiring testing to get the scope working. And very soon I would be using the scope and observatory to do some observing, astronomy outreach, and the main purpose of its construction, astrophotography. Total elapsed time was two years and ten months from groundbreaking to first light. It has been the greatest project of my life.